just the word opioids. They've taken on this sort of almost mystical quality, right? Absent context for like bad, opioids equals bad. And the truth is of course, far more complicated. Drug use has been public enemy number one since the Nixon administration. And congressional action meant to curtail the production, distribution, and consumption of illicit substances subjected millions to criminalization, incarceration, and lifelong criminal records. I thought the 55 years was just a threat to scare me, but soon I realized that was a reality and the federal system is pretty unjust. Join me, Hannah Miller, in a new podcast series as we explore some of the court cases and events that have underpinned our nation's drug laws, policies, and enforcement practices. I think that making drugs illegal is the phenomenon, the background that allows the police to go fishing for targets through things like stop and frisk. What really changed me more than anything else was the speeches that defense attorneys made, that I could drive by where that person was selling crack and there'd be somebody else doing the same thing. And I did that. They were right. Every single case is different. So to use this blunt tool of the guidelines, to me, has always been a problem. It doesn't do anybody any good to continue to have a felony conviction looming over their head. How does that help society? It doesn't. From the Drug Enforcement and Policy Center at The Ohio State University, this is Drugs on the Docket. Each episode will tell the story of how U.S. court decisions impact drug law and policy and continue to shape the war on drugs. Visit go.osu.edu forward slash drugs on the docket to follow the series.